friend of mine gave me a book recently called Concentration by Laurel Clark that I found uh, very helpful, very practical. And obviously, concentration is something that is important for mental training. You know, we concentrate our attention in certain ways, so it helps us do attention training. Now, in it, she opens the first chapter or the introduction with, if you were given the power to have one wish granted, what would you choose? Fame, abundant riches, perpetual love, financial security, more time? What would make you happy? Suppose you discovered that you could have all of these by mastering one skill. Would you be willing to invest yourself in cultivating it? So that one skill, obviously, is concentration. Uh, this is what she's advocating. And as a starter, we identify being the director, is how she labels it. Where in the warrior's way, we would call it the observer or the witness. We need to be able to step back and witness or observe or direct our experience, and in this case, our attention, so we can concentrate it better. She outlines six components for building our concentration skills. The first one is attention that she calls a mental sense. You know, we have obviously five physical senses, and she calls attention our mental sense. And we concentrate better when we can integrate those five physical senses with the one mental sense. This creates undivided attention. So, for example, we can have a cup of coffee and we're engaging our attention, that mental sense, in each of the physical senses. So we can see the coffee in the cup, we can hear sounds in the environment, we can feel the cup in our hands and our body sitting in a chair as we're doing this. And as we take a sip, we can smell and taste the coffee. So we're integrating the five physical senses with our attention mental sense to create undivided attention. The second one is the power of will. And she defines concentration as our ability to focus the mind at will. So it brings a volitional component to this process where we can use our will to sustain our attention and then notice and redirect it to the task. And number three is stilling the mind. Now, a still mind is not a blank mind. Rather, it's one that's alert, expectant, waiting, in way she describes it as like a predator stalking prey, you know, like a cat stalking a bird, for example. This gives kind of a, an image of being still physically, but having a very active attention. Number four is controlling the senses. So you're going to be distracted, you know, by sounds you hear that pull your attention away, or an object you see that reminds you of something that distracts your attention, or an itch that you want to scratch. These are distractions of your attention, and she's suggesting that you need to control your senses so you diminish those uh, distractions. But she emphasizes that you don't try to suppress these, rather you focus on the task. You focus on what you want to expand, not what you're wanting to diminish. Number five is expansion of awareness. We can use our attention broadly, or we can focus it narrowly. We can focus it broadly by thinking about all the different possibilities. But we narrow attention when we choose one of those possibilities. And number six is joy in life. She says, why waste life being unhappy when we can see beauty in our surroundings and experience the wonder of creation 
with each task we accomplish. By identifying what you're interested in, what really captures your attention, and then finding a way to serve others through that, then you're aligning yourself in a more purposeful way that will bring joy and meaning to your life. By learning that one skill, concentration, you set yourself up for achieving whatever you want in your life. You know, attention is the currency and attention training is the means for how you generate it. For a practice tip, you can do a morning 10 minute meditation. Be the director of your experience and integrate these components. You know, get, in, get into a comfortable meditative posture and first focus your attention on your breath. Number two, engage your will. Sustain your attention on the breath and notice and redirect your attention. Number three, be still. Don't move except for your, how your body is breathing. Number four, control your senses. You're going to have a scratch or itch or want to fidget around. Resist that tendency and just be still and allow yourself to deal with that distraction. Number five, after you've focused on the breath, now expand your awareness to all of your senses. And then number six, enjoy that you're doing something that's meaningful and purposeful. You've, you've chosen to do something and you've committed to doing it fully. Then you can get up slowly and intentionally engage your day. That's the lesson. You can go to warriorsway.com, check out the full lesson. You can also check out our books, Rock Warriors Way and Espresso Lessons that digs deeper into this material and our upcoming courses. We have Falling Commitment courses that we do in person. We have quite a few of those scheduled now, indoors and outdoors, and the free mind training that we do remotely. So check out our training. We'd love to work with you. Thanks.